Oh, hello, everybody. How you doing? This May 12th, this Friday, May 12th, I am in Dallas, Texas. Uh, it's actually Grand Prairie. I'm at the Verizon Wireless Theater with Ian Edwards and Tony Hinchcliffe, and it is almost sold out. So don't sleep. And then July 7th, I am at the Ka Theater at the MGM with Tony Hinchcliffe. Uh, and a bunch of more shit that's going to be announced next week. Tickets are available at JoeRogan.net forward slash tour. This episode of the podcast, um, I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of shit going on, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, before I even tell you the sponsors, let me tell you this: the podcast that you're about to hear is my favorite podcast ever. So that said, it's sponsored by. LegalZoom. LegalZoom is an awesome way for you to deal with legal issues without having to go anywhere. You can do it all at home. You can sign up with an estate plan from LegalZoom. You don't have to worry about choosing between a will or a living trust on your own. Instead, you can work with an independent attorney to customize a plan for you. LegalZoom is reliable. For over 15 years, LegalZoom has been the trusted choice of millions of Americans. For living trust, wills, and more. Guidance. They can guide you, folks. And they can connect you with an independent attorney to customize a plan for you. Flexibility. You don't have to do it during business hours. You don't have to do it on someone else's time. You don't have to find a parking spot or make an appointment. You could do it any time you want. And you could do it on your own with LegalZoom. Having an estate plan will help protect you, your family, your property, and as your family and assets grow, it's easy to make updates along the way with LegalZoom. Helpful support. LegalZoom's U.S.-based team of customer service pros are happy to provide assistance, and they're always just a click or a call away. And no surprises. Since LegalZoom is in a law firm, law firm excuse me, there are no hourly expenses or hourly fees, just upfront pricing and complete transparency. Set up your estate plan at LegalZoom.com now, and for special savings, enter Rogan at checkout. That's LegalZoom.com. Enter Rogan at checkout. We're also brought to you by my all-time favorite underwear, Me Undies. I'm wearing them now, and I wear them every day. They are designed in L.A. and made from sustainably sourced micro modal. It is a fabric three times softer than cotton, and I swear to you, my friends, once you wear these underwear, you will not want to wear other underwear. I've had so many people come up to me and go, dude, I can't believe how goddamn comfortable these motherfucking underwear are. They are. And guess what? You can save time and money each month with a subscription plan. <gasps> a monthly subscription for me undies? Yes. They're so soft and so comfortable, and you can get them delivered to your door. And if you're not ready for a subscription, that's okay. You can still save. That's because me undies is offering you 20% off your first pair. Just use our special URL, meundies.com forward slash Rogan, and you'll get 20% off your first pair. So go ahead, folks. Revamp your underwear drawer. You deserve it. Once again, that's meundies.com forward slash Rogan. Meundies.com forward slash Rogan. We're also brought to you by C.W. Hemp. Charlotte's Web Hemp. C.W. Hemp.com. Um, I just had a conversation about this with Greg Fitzsimmons, and he was telling me how fantastic he feels since he's been taking CBD oil from Charlotte's Web. But Charlotte's Web, I had to inform him, is not just CBD oil. It has CBD in it, but it's made from the whole hemp plant. Charlotte's Web is a hemp extract oil that, is, that naturally has incredible health and wellness compounds called cannabinoids. It has all of the beneficial cannabinoids, not just single compounds, not just a single compound, rather, like CBD. It helps with inflammation from exercise, mild anxiety, focus. I got some right here. Listen to this. Hear this? That's my little thing. See? I'm going to open it. I take it all the time. I take it during podcasts, and people think I'm doing drugs. But I'm not because it's not psychoactive. But it is really good for you. It helps with, uh, again, inflammation from exercise, mild anxiety, focus. It's a neuroprotectant. Uh, it helps with your blood sugar balance. Uh, 
it's an antioxidant, and more. Uh, CW is made by the Stanley Brothers from Colorado. And uh, you might have heard Dr. Sanjay Gupta, who used to be a weed hater, but now he's not. He's on our side now, folks. And he's told uh, the amazing story about the Stanley Brothers on CNN and the impact hemp can have on your help. On your help. <laughs> hemp, it, can help, it can help with your help, too. If you, like, you have somebody working for you and they go, oh, my back hurts. Get them some Charlotte's Web hemp oil. For your health, it's amazing. Get authentic Charlotte's Web. Do your research. It is the most trusted hemp oil, and it just makes you feel better. That's important to me. Go to cwhemp.com and save 10% off Everyday Plus or Everyday Advanced with the promo code JOERogan17. That's cwhemp.com and enter the code JOERogan17. And that's it. Fuck it. All right. My guest right now that I'm going to, he's been on the podcast before. I'm going to introduce you to him. uh, The great Jordan Peterson. He's a fantastic human being, a fascinating man. One of the smartest people I've ever talked to in my life and was on fire in this episode. So without any further ado, Jordan Peterson. Joe Rogan Podcast. Check it out. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day. Joe Rogan Podcast by night. All day. Boom. Welcome back, Mr. Peterson. Thank you. How are you? Not too bad. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. You look like uh, um, a man who is dealing with a considerable amount of stress, but is handling it well. Yeah, well, I hope that's true. I think the first part of it's true. I hope the second part is true. I read that you were denied a grant for the first time in, in your history as an academic. Yes. And you think this is all based on your outspoken and very public um, denouncing of the political correctness and of all this stuff that you've been going through over the past more than a year now. I don't know, because I haven't got the full commentary on the grant yet. I only found out that it was denied, and it takes the granting agency a while to send out the full report. I've heard from other people, I know some other people who I would consider relatively high-profile researchers who also didn't get funded this round, so there might be multiple reasons, but I can't help suspect that the fact that the grant application concentrated on delineating the personality characteristics of politically correct belief might have had something to do with it. Yeah, so, still a taboo subject. It's fascinating that thinking... And and thinking and pondering and examining certain types of behavior would still be a taboo subject. Yeah, it is amazing, all right, and becoming more taboo all the time, I would say. I don't think the universities are, have... I think they're getting worse still, and it'll be a while before they get better. I, I shouldn't say that so globally, but it's certainly the case with the humanities and much of the social sciences. Well, it seems globally. I mean, uh, not necessarily in terms of uh, all the different subjects, but certainly in terms of what you... Uh, teach and what you're involved in and um, it just it's so I mean I hate to use the word but it's so regressive to put restrictions on the examining of thinking in a university I mean it's kind of crazy I mean what what you went through in one of your most recent public speeches where they allowed these kids to be in the room with you with bullhorns and they were screaming, Jamie, see if you can find the video of that. What was the name? McMaster. That McMaster. was at McMaster University. Yeah. And you were giving your speech, and there were supposed to be some other people involved. They backed out, and you decided to continue on. So you're standing there in front of these people that were there to hear you talk, and there's a group of kids with bullhorns, like literally, and shouting and yelling and chanting with signs in the room. Mm-hmm. Just completely disrupting what you're doing, and they allowed this all to happen. Mm-hmm. Air horns as well. So, yeah, and they were blowing air horns quite close to me. That was the one thing I really objected to, because air horns actually happen to be quite loud. No, no, yeah, it's, it's actually an assault on mm-hmm. your ears. It's very bad for your hearing. Like, you're not supposed to be in a room with those without hearing protection. They're supposed to be, like, for, like, scary things. Like, p- play some of this, Jamie, so we can hear how crazy it is. <laughs> So there's him yelling, shut him down, no freedom for hate speech. And the hate speech thing has like the prince symbol. 